Greetings all, Paula here of paulapumpsandnails.com, your source for soft gel, natural nails, and solopreneurship in the nail industry. Today we are going to be comparing a professional grade e-file versus a beginner entry level one and answering the big question of whether or not you should invest in a professional e-file, even with just a beginner or DIYer in the nail industry. So let's dive right in. I've owned e-files for about 10 years now, and way back when, not sure on the exact year, I remember purchasing one of those handheld manicure ones. And just by looking at the options available on Amazon today, I can tell you they've come a long way as far as options for newbies. By the way, I really didn't have an interest in an e-file right away. Like as I was doing my nails at home, like my first or second year, just kind of practicing on myself, like I really was just hand filing. So it's not something that you have to immediately get. I definitely do recommend nailing your manual filing. So for today's video, I will be comparing my current pro e-file, which is the V-Unit Valentino portable e-file versus the Melody. Susie Scamander portable e-file. So after I owned that cheapy e-file, which was practically good only for natural nails as it was very gentle, I then owned a supersonic table e-file, which I remember paying about $150 for it at the nail superstore online. As you can see, the price has not changed much for this e-file, most probably because it remains as a top bang for the buck option. And as you can see, the reviews continue to come in as highly positive. Now I want you to know this now because it is detrimental to know before making the investment in an e-file. Portable and rechargeable e-files will most likely need more frequent maintenance than those that are not portable and rechargeable and have to be plugged into an outlet for a continual power source. Not too sure why, but I'm going to guess that it's a smaller motor size and rechargeable battery life are the culprits. Personally, I just like the more lightweight, compact, portability aspect of the rechargeable machines. And it is why I continue buying them regardless of having to send them in for maintenance as frequent. And by frequent, I mean maybe once a year, perhaps twice a year, you shouldn't be sending them in if you're buying from a professional brand no more than two times a year. Otherwise you might have a lemon girl and you might wanna send that thing back. And definitely request either a full replacement or a full refund. For me, the table models are just such eyesores. They're never cute enough. So Sorry, maybe someone will make one that's super cute and then I'll finally settle with one of those table model ones. So with that being said, the next Ifa I remember buying into was my absolute favorite, aesthetically speaking. It was a portable from Japanese company Nail Labo. The handpiece is incredibly lightweight and the motor box is so slim and compact. I totally paid almost $400 for it, but it was like that kind of $400 you spend without bending an eyelash. However, if I remember correctly, around the two year mark, it gave up on me and after sending it in twice to Nail Labo, they failed to restore it and make it operable for me again. And so I had to toss it <laughs> just like that. Well, as much as it was my favorite EFA, I was not going to pay that kind of money for a new one again. So I moved on to a Koopa. Koopa's charcoal fiberglass passport portable EFA had just debuted at that time. I think it was like mm, 2014, 2013. And so I thought, perfect, this is it. I bought it, was pretty happy with it until one day, maybe a year later, it started vibrating more than I had noticed before. Now, please know that I use my e-files in the salon day in and day out, five to six days a week. So perhaps I shouldn't invest in the portable stuff. I should really get one of those table ones. Don't do as I did. Put your listening ears on and take notes here. Before purchasing an e-file, before making that investment, make sure you promise yourself to A, fully dry your e-file bits before inserting them. When I got my diagnosis back on the Koopa Passport, it did have a bit of oxidation due to not fully drying my bits before inserting them. Duh, of course, don't do this, please. Next, invest in these cone shapes called Protex. Not too long ago, you were able to get them from Nail Labo and I think even Erica's, but now only Adwood Industries has them. Totally worth the nine bucks, ten dollars, whatever with shipping, okay? Doing these two things, right? Keeping your bits dry and buying those little protective attachments should significantly decrease the frequency of your maintenance and keep it either to once a year or maybe once every two years. And if you are a professional with clientele and you heavily rely on your EFA, you should 
definitely invest in two. In case you need to have one sent in for maintenance, you have a spare to fall back on for one to three weeks. Throughout my years of the salon, I was relatively happy with Cuba. I primarily stayed with them because e files is what they specialize in and overall they have a good customer support team. And they were also in my home state of California, which meant it did not have to be a couple of days extra in transit if I needed to have a repair. So lots of peace of mind. Now I've also heard great things about the company Erica's ATA and they actually sell the identical nail level portable. So how and why am I now randomly with a Valentino V unit? And I really like the pink handle with the crystals. And since I already owned a Valentino dust collector, hey, why not just own the dynamic duo here and get me a Valentino V unit? All right, so it's time to compare it against the Melody Susie. Let's begin with some features of each. I'll put them side by side for you. So as you can see, weight wise, I brought out my trusty postage scale and they actually weigh relatively about the same. It's about 15 ounces. When it comes to the handpiece, the handpiece obviously for the Valentino is a little bit more slender, which was another selling point for me. But I do know that it's kind of like this metal, I don't know, some sort of metal. And it is a little heavier than perhaps like the Melody Susie. The Melody Susie is very light, very lightweight, even though it's a little bit bigger. However, when testing them out, you know, test driving them, the handpiece, uh, you will hear a little bit more noise. It's not as quiet from the Melody Susie. The Valentino Valentino V unit is actually quite quiet, if that makes sense. Do notice that at the tip of the, the Valentino, you don't have that little protective kind of seal. You have to invest in those protects that I mentioned earlier so that you don't get any dust in there. But you and I have learned from our mistakes, right? And we are going to be proactive by those protects to protect it from any dust. Uh, so weight is about the same dimensions. The scamander is a little bit thicker. The actual box, motor box is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more lightweight. Again, the handpiece is not heavy. I don't think you feel as much vibration as much as you can actually hear it, it rumbling more than you can with the Valentino. Now, power-wise, the Valentino goes up to 35,000 RPMs. If you're removing or uh, sanding down product, you want to work at that high RPM. The Scamander, however, goes only up to 30,000 RPMs, which is not bad for a rookie e-file. However, I did notice that I needed to put in a significant amount of pressure in order for me to remove product. So I don't know if that 5,000 extra RPMs from the V unit is what's making that difference where I have to actually just use a light pressure. And this is where it kind of scares me for beginners to use these machines. Like I told you earlier, when I first started getting into nails, I didn't immediately have an inclination to get an e file. So again, with the Scamander, you have to use a little bit more pressure than you do have to with the Valentino. You know, with that being said, when you're working at set, such high RPMs, which in the salon you should, and I teach this stuff in my course, my master gel nose course, you should work at the highest RPM to remove file down product. But as a beginner, no way I recommend that. It can be so dangerous. You can totally slice your finger open with a sanding pan. So with that being said, the Scamander does come with these little um, attachment bits. The diamond bits, however, I don't know if they're really diamond particle dust as most professional companies do offer diamond particle. They both have a clip I don't have mine attached to my Valentino. You're more likely to clip your Eva onto you if you are at a pedicure station maybe or you're working on one of those home clients, celebrity clients, but I never worked with it attached to me. It's always on my table, so I just need it to sit pretty warranty-wise. The Scamander offers you a six month warranty off the bat just for purchasing their product. Obviously, look at the return date. If you do have an issue, you might be able to return it, but it does come with a six month a month warranty and you can extend that warranty for an additional six months if you register your machine. Keep that in mind, okay, because we'll see in a little bit some of the reviews and why you might want to actually do that. The unit comes with a standard one-year warranty. So both files are very pretty, no eyesores here. So whether you have the budget for a Melody Susie, which is about $65 on Amazon, or you have the budget for a professional e-file, which by the way, 
all professional e-files, you will be hard pressed to get them anything cheaper than like 320 bucks. They're always going to be about 350, 375, maybe 400. I know Erica's runs on the more expensive end. The Koopas, often they'll have a sale, like maybe like a precedent sale, Memorial Day sale, definitely a Black Friday sale. But as expected, a file that is $65 on Amazon will probably have to be used not as hard and frequent as a professional one. Although the Scamander has excellent reviews, as expected, most of the negative reviews coming in are from people who use this e-file routinely and even for salon work that's not a reliable buy for salon professional work there you can feel in its quality it's definitely more plasticky i, I don't want to say rinky dinky but kind of sort of very cute company though i like what they're doing for diy so if you're a diy if you're a beginner it's for you and it's $65. Okay. You might say that's too much, but you're also kind of in that $65 you're paying in for that warranty for that maintenance. Okay. So that's good on them. Good job, Melody Susie for that support. Again, scam under not reliable for salon professional work. It has the speed and power of a professional e-file, but for occasional use, perhaps trainees or home use only. The Valentino V unit, although it is a recent purchase for me, will most probably last long because it's almost $400. So you bet I'm going to be making some calls if this thing malfunctions on me. <laughs> the Valentino company, again, has been in business for a long time, specifically in the category of equipment with the dust collector, that dust collector machine. So I am paying for that peace of mind. I'm paying for the brand here, maybe. But also, many have noticed that the V unit resembles the medical E file, and I actually see that as a big plus. I don't know why people kind of are taking offense to this. I read, I read online, people are saying like this is just a medical or a pimped out medical or whatever. I actually see that as a big plus in regards to reliability because I don't know this for a fact, but it probably is a medical and was private labeled. Medical is a podiatry grade e file and a race of company. It gives me abundant peace of mind that the V unit may well indeed be an undercover medical and. Props to Valentino and the company for making the medical a super upgraded version. Just like the nail level and the Erica may well indeed be the same machine. Remember I mentioned them earlier. 